Good morning, everyone. Christopher here, bringing you today's practice. So uh, find a comfortable place, of course, set up your space. Make sure you have any of the equipment that you might need, a block, a blanket, maybe even a strap, any of the stuff you might have around the house. And we'll start in a comfortable seated position. So if you need a little lift under the hips, I like to use the block. So I'm gonna set that up here. Good. So you can sit in that comfortable, easy pose, cross-legged right on the floor. You can sit up on a little lift. It's good to get the hips above the knees, especially if the knees are really high. Uh, try to use the lift. It could even be just a folded up blanket as well. And try to let the knees relax down so you can sit comfortably and kind of release into the lower body. Let it become a foundation. This can take some time, so be patient with yourself. Good, so once you got the seat settled, the legs can be still. We're gonna extend up through the crown, just like you have that little hook there at the top of the head and something's pulling you up towards the ceiling, really lifting. Try to keep the chin level with the earth. Good, then we think about the shoulders, the gentle squeeze back. So maybe your spine is already working at this point or maybe you sit regularly and it's okay. So you might be feeling things already as we begin the practice. So. As we're in a comfortable environment, there's lots of things that we can look at and judge and so on. So try to even soften the eyes closed. Good, and then just observe your spine from top to bottom, scanning it, starting maybe at the root, the tail, and moving its way up. Just assessing all the vertebrae, all its parts, the curves, anything you may feel along the way. And then extend yourself up, check back in, little squeeze between the blades. Imagine a big spot, smile, just like on your face, from shoulder to shoulder, a big grin. And breathe deeply, in and out of the nose. Unless you're having some breathing issues and you're completely blocked up in nostrils and sinuses, try to keep the lips together, relax the teeth apart, the jaw remains soft and we'll slowly begin to try to expand the breath. So you know the three parts of your yogic breath and the abdominal breathing, thoracic breathing, and clavicular breathing. Try to breathe into those three parts. So as we breathe into the upper chest, Try to release any sort of tension there that might travel through the shoulders, up through the neck and the head even. Think of expanding the belly and those rib cages right up to the collarbones. They lift gently towards the chin and then exhale, top, middle, bottom. Gentle squeeze with the navel, pull it in. And then soften, fill the abdominal area bottom ribs middle ribs upper ribs upper chest collarbones and then exhale that breath smoothly expanding your breathing capacity this is where we can start to construct the pace of breathing so you use a count you can count to yourself or if you're familiar with your breath just continue to breathe nice and smoothly. You might find that your inhales and exhales are at the count of four or five. They should be equal. Smooth. Something you can maintain now to the end of your practice. It may change from time to time. Good, so now we have the breath flowing. We're gonna turn the left hand up and we're gonna use the right hand to block the nostrils. Alternate nostril breathing, one of our breathing exercises, pranayama. So we're gonna bring the peace fingers, these two fingers into the palm. If that's very difficult, you can also rest them there at the forehead. So we're gonna use the thumb and the peace, or sorry, the pinky finger and extended finger to close the alternating nostrils. So bring the hand in front of the face, either fingers to palm or forehead, thumb on the right, other two fingers on the left. Try to relax your shoulders, your chin is level with the earth, soften the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through both of your nostrils, fill yourself up. 
Exhale completely through both the nostrils. Good. Now block the right nostril with the thumb and inhale for one, two, three, and four. And then close both sides and hold your breath here for just a moment. Now lift your thumb, the right side, and exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Close the right, both sides closed, and hold the breath. Now lift the fingers, left side, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale left, one, two, three, four. Close both sides, retain. Lift the thumb, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale right, one, two, three, four, retain. Lift the fingers, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, retain. Lift the thumb, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, retain. Lift the fingers, exhale, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, retain. Lift the thumb, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, final retention. Lift the fingers, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lower the right hand down and breathe through both of the nostrils. Nice and deeply. Now the alternate nostril breathing may cause some cleansing to happen. You might need to blow your nose now to continue on. If you do so, you can take a moment, pause the video, and you can start it up again when you're ready. Finding that nice, smooth, deep yogic breath of yours. Keeping the eyes closed or opening them gently if you need. We're going to do a few rounds of the shoulder rolls. So relax the arms and begin to move the shoulders in nice big circles in the direction of your choice. We'll do both. So just nice and big, move those shoulders around and around in all directions, forward, up to the ears, back and down. Do one more in the direction you're going. When you reach the bottom, pause and go the opposite direction. Nice big circles. Okay, 
let's do one more. Good, relax the shoulders there, lift them directly up towards the earlobes now, sit up nice and tall, squeeze, 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 and then release them, let them drop two more that way. Squeeze the ears to the, or shoulders to the ears, excuse me, and relax them down. Let's do one more, shoulders, ears, sit up tall, nice deep breath, and exhale. Good, just relax there, breathe, feel the sensations through the neck and shoulders. Good, gently opening the eyes, blinking a little, bringing the palms together out in front of you, a little smile on the face, we begin to rub as we create some heat within the body. We brought the energy in, now we're gonna create a little bit of heat through this movement, this effort. Think about the heat between the palms, apply a little bit more pressure. Let's go a little faster. Upper body's working, energy's moving. Good, take a really nice deep breath in. Exhale, reach those arms up, spread those fingers out nice and wide. Try not to lift those shoulders up, draw them down, breathe here. Feel the sensations through the arms. Deep breath comes in and exhale. Take a moment relaxing the back of the hands down into the lap. Relax the shoulders. Relax the eyes. Breathe. Mentally preparing yourself for the practice of yoga this morning. Good, so we're gonna open the eyes. We're gonna take anything we're sitting on, move it out of the way. Let's go ahead and move ourselves into a child's pose. So bring the big toes together, take the knees apart, just so they would fall like underneath the shoulders, and then set the hips back. And then lower down, so if you need the support of the arms, they can stay there, of course. You can start to relax the, the belly, the ribs, then relax the head. Just let it hang down. Maybe it touches the earth, maybe it doesn't. You can always use the hands as a little pillow here. The fists as well. If the forehead comes down comfortably, we can take those arms back, turn the palms up. So here with that little bit of space between the knees, we allow some breathing room, just a little bit. So wherever you are, just let your hips move from side to side. Feel that really subtle movement there. Keep breathing. Good, relax the hips. If those arms are back, we're gonna reach them forward. If they're under the head, just lift up enough so you can extend those arms out in front of you nice and wide shoulder distance. We want the arms straight. The palms are touching. The fingertips are starting to spread out and grip gently. Breathe deeply here. You could start to lift your shoulders up away from the earth. And on the inhale, lift your forward forehead up if it's on the earth. Start to look between those palms. But on your next breath in, we're gonna to start to pull ourselves up, right up into the table position. Shoulders come forward, knees come in together, uh, about two fist distance apart, right up under the hips or just slightly behind, top of the feet are down. Good, so push the earth away here. So we just dragged ourselves forward into this position. Spine is level, hold the belly up and in just a little bit and breathe. Drawing the shoulders back. As we gaze straight down to the earth, again, that little hook that's on the top of the head is being pulled forward, making the neck long. Breathe deeply. Good. Now, inhale, allow the navel to melt down, tailbone lifts, and then the chin lifts. We make the U shape with the spine. Good. Push into the palms, also gripping with the fingertips. 
and then push into the tops of the feet and the shins, coming into this cow. Good, inhale, look up, lift the chin and the tail. Exhale, lift the center of the spine up, start to tuck the tail and the chin under, but don't let those shoulders fall back. Hips can push forward towards the forehead. Just arching here in the cat. The two full opposite movements. And we'll link it here a few rounds with the breath. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the tail, move into cow, push into the palms and the feet. Exhale, lift the center of the spine, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, push into the palms, push into the feet, arch. One more, inhale. And exhale, linking up that spine. Good, inhale, neutral. Exhale, completely. Good, now inhale, big step forward, right foot in between the hands, closer to the right hand, Come up onto the fingertips, look forward. Good, so maybe here you have some options with the left knee, maybe you can take it back. Just starting to wake up the body here in a low lunge. Left hip flexor, quad down the front of the leg, right to the tips of the toes. We're up onto the fingertips and we have them gathering together. So the muscular action in the palm is protecting the wrist through the forearm, we're strengthening them. Lift your heart up and away and really push into that right big toe. Good, can you lift your chin? Lift your gaze. Think about drawing those shoulders back. Feel that opening there. Good, take one more nice deep breath in and exhale, look down and curl the left toes under. Now as you inhale, we're gonna take a big step forward, left foot next to right. Look out ahead, bring your hands up onto your high shins. Lift your hips and lift your shoulders. Now exhale nice and slowly. Walk yourself down as you keep the hips lifted. Tuck your chin in. And then inhale, start with the back of the head, shoulders, spine, bring those hands to the high shins. Good, straight spine. Exhale, fold and slowly release over those straight legs. Last time moving here, inhale. Good, exhale as you Fold, take a gentle grip somewhere on the back of the lower legs, the, the knees, and pull yourself in. Let your head dangle. Lift your shoulders up away from your ears. Now really tune in as we press into the whole foot. Good, hamstrings might be tight, so there might be a little bend in the knees. Let your head go. Let a little bit more weight come into those toes. Feel that stretch, inhale, exhale. Good, now we're gonna soften the knees, release the grip of the arms to let them dangle. Let the head go, breathe in a rag doll. Good, now put some weight in the feet. Keep that bend in the knees. And then we're gonna imagine, we're gonna stack one vertebrae on top of the other. So start to press, good, rolling up. A little tuck into the tail. We start to activate through the hips and the glutes, slowly stacking low back, mid back. As we get into the upper back, the shoulders will roll back. Palms can roll open. Feel that opening through the chest. And then lastly, the chin is level with the earth. We're in our standing pose of Tadasana. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring your hands together at your heart center. Let's finalize the movement and inhale, reach the arms up as high as we can. Reach up, look up. Good, soften your knees and we're just gonna release into a ragdoll. Right back down. Head, arms, pause, breathe. Soften into the knees. Give the head a gentle shake as if saying yes. And then no. And pause. Good. Good. Now push into the feet. Nice and slowly on the inhale. Begin to roll yourself up. Turn the palms out. Reach the arms out. Lift the chin. Look up. 
And as you exhale, turn the palms out. We're gonna swan dive this time all the way down. Keep the hips lifted, chin, nose, forehead in, fin fingers to the earth or front of the shins. Inhale, take that half lift. Remember to lift the shoulders, look out ahead of you. And let's exhale, plant the palms. And this time we're gonna step back with the right foot and then the left foot. Lower your knees, big toes together, knees separate. Palms plant, we're gonna push ourselves back, relax the forehead and then release the arms back. Breathe. Good, we start with the arms. Either lifting the head and reaching them forward or just taking them to the top, towards the top of the mat. Separate the palms. Arms are straight and lifted from the earth. Grip with the fingertips. Lift your shoulders. Lift the forehead up if it's still resting there. Inhale, look forward. Draw yourself forward to table. Knees under hips, shoulders over wrist. Top of the head forward. Inhale deeply into a nice long spine. Exhale completely, squeeze the breath away. Inhale, lift the tail and the chin as the abdomen melts down, look up. Exhale, lift the spine, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, arch. Inhale to a neutral position. Exhale completely. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Good, rise up onto your fingertips. Left foot is a little closer to the left hand than center. Take the right knee back as far as you can, keeping the left knee over the ankle. Good, start to lift out of those fingers, palms, if you have blocks under the hands. Lift the heart, gently lift the chin and the gaze, look up, breathe deeply here. Beginning to open up the body. Right hip flexor down the front of the leg, left hamstring, glute, the opposite of the other movement we did just moments ago. Let those hips melt down, Keep lifting yourself up, open those shoulders, draw them back, breathe into the heart. Good, take one more nice deep breath in, fill yourself up. Exhale, gaze down to the earth, curl the right toes under. On your inhale, take a big step forward, look out in front of you. As you exhale, Gently fold over the lifted hips. And then inhale, again, maybe hands come to the high shins, lift the shoulders, extend, exhale. Dive over the lifted hips. Now soften the knees and then inhale. Circle the hands all the way out, reach up, look up, fill up, and exhale. Relax the arms right down to the sides. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Good, inhale, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward. On the inhale, come up halfway. We're gonna exhale, plant the palms, left foot back, right foot back, knees down, big toes touch, set back, puppy stretch. So this time we're pushing back, shoulders, head, arms are lifted up away from the earth. We're extending, we're putting pressure into the palms so we can push the hips back, breathe deeply. On the inhale, we're gonna draw ourselves forward, shoulders over wrist, curl the toes under. Exhale, lift the knees and press ourselves back into a downward dog. So last time we came into table, this time we transitioned into a momentary table and right up into this stretch. So pedaling the feet if you need, keeping a bend in the knees if you need. Push firmly into the palms and grip with those fingertips. Uh, try to press into the thumbs and the peace fingers. And we get to the shoulders, allow them to roll apart. Good, let's settle into the feet now. Big toe mounts, the inner edge, inner heel. Push the backs of the knees open. Try to lift those hips. Let your head go. Case back towards those toes. Nice long spine. Try and straighten those legs, feel those hamstrings, glutes, everything stretching out slowly. Inhale, come up onto the toes, lift your hips, press your chest back gently, and then exhale, 
heels down to the earth. Do that one more time. Inhale, nice and high up onto the toes, hips lift, chest extends back. Exhale, heels down. Good, inhale, come up onto the toes. This time we're gonna bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk your feet up in between the hands. Good, inhale, come up halfway. And exhale, take that dive over the legs. Soften the knees, inhale, circle the arms all the way up, reach up, look up. Exhale, relax the arms down to the sides. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Good, inhale, circle the arms out, reach up, look up. Exhale, open those palms out, swan dive, heart leading, fold. Good, inhale, come up to that half lift. Fingertips on the earth or high shins. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to the top of a push up and we'll pause here. Instead of moving back into that resting pose, we'll take this position and take a little weight into the wrist. Again, grip, push the earth away. Remember, you can always lower the knees down, keep the toes curled under. Breathe. Good, inhale, gaze ahead. And then exhale with control. Try to lower the body all the way down. Drop the forehead down, point your feet. Now inhale, peel up through the back of the head. So we're gonna start to press into the tops of the feet. This is gonna help us engage through the whole lower body and up through the low back here. Good, the palms are there, just guiding us. Grip with the fingers, and instead of pushing firmly down so hard, we're gonna pull back. Try to drag yourself ahead. Good, look up. Squeeze those elbows in. Now push into the palms. One more breath, come up just a little bit higher. And then exhale, lower your body down. Curl your toes under. Inhale, push right back up. And exhale, press back into the start position, down dog, breathe. Good, so on the inhale, lift your right leg up and just pause right there. Three leg down dog. We're gonna put a little relief into the wrist here momentarily, so just a few more breaths. Keep gripping, keep pressing. One more nice deep breath in, lift that right heel. And as you exhale, shift your shoulders forward, bring your right knee into your chest, and then try to step your right foot up between the hands. Good, rise up onto the fingertips. Make sure we have that two fist distance so we're not on a tight, tight rope. Excuse me. Start to look ahead. Good, lift up through the heart. Push the back of that left leg up. So last time we came into that nice low lunge, that's always the option for you to lower that left knee down. Breathe. Try to let those hips melt down. Right next to each other, side by side. Good, good. So take one more nice deep breath in, really fill up. Exhale, look down to the earth. Soften into that left knee. On the inhale, step forward this time and lengthen through the spine. So if you have to bring the hands up onto the legs, lengthen, look ahead, keep those hips lifted. Exhale, forward fold. Good, soften the knees. Let's inhale, circle all the way up, reach up, look up. And exhale, relax the hands down to the side. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, palms to the heart. Good, inhale, circle the arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take that half lift. Let's exhale, plant the palms, step back to the top of a push up. One nice deep breath in, push the earth away. Exhale, with control, lower the body down. A few breaths here, inhale, peel up, pause. Press into the feet. Grip with fingertips, press gently through the palms. Pull back, drag the heart forward, elbows in. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Lower the forehead down, curl the toes. Inhale, knees or to that push up. Exhale, press back, down dog, breathe. Settle in, palms and feet. Good, inhale, lift that left leg up. On the exhale, draw your shoulders forward, knee to chest, foot steps forward. Come up onto the fingertips. Good, 
high lunge. So make sure those feet are separated. You can move them apart. You can feel some balance. Try to let those hips melt down, pressing the back of that right leg up. You can always lower the right knee down, take it into the low lunge. Try to lift your heart up away from the earth. Firmly rooted through that left big toe and foot. Breathe. Lift the chin, lift the gaze. Take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, gaze down to the earth. Soften into the right knee. And we're going to inhale, step the right foot forward, extend through the spine, nice long spine. Exhale, fold over those lifted hips. Soften the knees, inhale. Circle the arms up, reach up, look up, exhale. Relax the arms down to the side, breathe. Good, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Good, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward, nice and slow. Good, we'll inhale, take that half lift position. What's yours? Exhale, palms to the earth, stepping back, lowering the body all the way down. Good, inhale, let's peel up cobra. Exhale, relax, curl the toes. Inhale, push up. Exhale, press back. Right leg on the inhale, lift it up. As you exhale, shoulders forward, knee forward, foot forward. Good, stay up high on the left toes, knees lifted or you can lower that left knee. We're gonna to prepare to take the hands out of the equation. So make sure you have that good foundation, nice and wide. Push heavily into both of the feet. And then inhale, see if you can lift shoulders over hips. Reach the arms down and turn the palms out. Lift the chin, look up. Remember, we can always bring the hands to the knee for support. You can lower the left knee, whatever you may need. So work your way through gaining the ability. And then inhale, maybe you can join us, lift the arms up. Don't lift the shoulders. Good, take one more nice deep breath in, reach up, gently arch back. As you exhale, bring the fingertips to the earth. Good, inhale, big step forward with the left. Exhale, fold. Good, soften the knees. Inhale, circle up, reach up, look up. Exhale, relax the arms down. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, lower your body down. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, lower, curl the toes. Inhale, knees or push up. Exhale, press back, down dog. Breathe. Let's continue with the left. Inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, step the foot forward. Good, make sure we're preparing nice and strong up onto those fingers, lower those hips, high onto the toes. Right knee can be lifted or lowered to the earth. When you're ready, inhale, lift shoulders over hips. Reach the fingertips down and roll the palms out. Start to lift through the chin, breathe. When you're ready, arms lift, not the shoulders. Keep the arms straight, draw the shoulders down, keep the neck long, breathe deeply, gaze up. Take one more nice deep breath in, reach up, arch back. Exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, big step forward with the right foot, extend. Exhale, forward fold, soften the knees. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, relax the arms down. Step the feet apart, close the eyes if you can, breathe. Good. 
opening the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Inhale, circle the arms out, reach out, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant the palms, step back, lower your body down. Palms are under the shoulders, elbows squeeze in. Pressing heavily into the tops of the feet. Good, grip of the fingertips. Start to send the top of the head forward and lift through the back of the head. Lift through the shoulder blades. Gaze forward. So push heavily into those feet. Make a bridge with those legs. Hip bones connect, top of the feet pressing firmly. Pull back with those fingertips and palms. Breathe here. Now keeping those palms planted, elbows bent, if you have a little bit more flexibility, ability in the spine, we're going to press into those palms. Good, keep those shoulders down. Don't let them lift up, lift the chin. Keep pushing heavily into the feet. Hip bones are still connected. One more nice deep breath in wherever you are. Up, 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 up. Exhale, relax the body down. Make a pillow with the hands. Lie on your left ear. Big toes touch. Heels fall apart. Wiggle the hips from side to side. And then relax and breathe. Good, now we're gonna separate those hands. We're gonna bring the forehead down, so if you need to back yourself up on your mat, you can. Good, now circle your arms back like jet airplane wings, but leave them just off the edge of the mat. Your palms are on the floor. Legs are together still, and just like in Cobra, we start to press into the tops of the feet and engage the entire leg, right to the hip bones. Palms press firmly, start to lift your shoulders up away. Keep the hands connected with the earth. Spread the fingers. Good. As we did before, send the top of the head forward and start to lift the head up. Look ahead of you. So really lift through those shoulder blades. Breathe. Keep pushing the hands down. So here, you might not need the legs. So lift them. Lift the feet. Send all ten toes behind you as you send the crown ahead. Breathe. Nice locust variation. Good, from here, maybe you can lift the palms, but not too high, just at shoulder level. Extend all 10 fingers and all 10 toes. Breathe. Good, inhale, come up just a little bit higher. Exhale, relax down. Make a pillow with the hands and rest on your right ear. Big toes touch, heels fall apart. Breathe deeply. Good, our last back bend in this series will be the bow. So separate the hands, forehead down, and we're gonna bend the knees. Bring the heels towards the buttocks. Now reach back with your hands. Now if you need a strap or something to wrap around the feet or the ankles, this would be the time to have that close by. Good. So gripping hand, uh, ankles, excuse me, or tops of the feet with the hands, you're gonna flex the feet or the toes. Good, pull on the feet, press the feet into the hands. Lift the shoulders, and then start to send the chin forward, lift through the back of the head. So as you're pressing into the feet here, pull on them and lift upward. Legs might separate gently, but try to keep them coming together. 
Good. Can you rise right up onto those high hip bones, low abdomen? Good. Breathe here in the bow. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, relax everything down, forehead down, relax the feet down, press the palms beside the chest. And then really slowly, we're gonna push up to table and let those hips come back. So that same position we started in in the beginning of the practice, big toes touch, knees separate, just about shoulder distance. Let your hips fall back and melt the abdomen, maybe the ribs and the upper body. Again, supporting the head, if it needs it, the palms. Forehead down, take the arms back, if they're free, breathe. Good. So from here, we're going to walk those hands forward up towards the top of the mat. Good. Arms extend, palms press, fingertips grip. Lift the forehead, look between the hands, make sure that they're shoulder distance apart. We're gonna inhale, draw ourselves forward, up into table. Good. So from here, we're gonna straighten our left leg, coming up on the toes, lift the knee, and then we pivot and plant that left foot behind the right. So here we're gonna try and bring right shoulder over the wrist so if you have to adjust yourself. We've got our right hip over right knee, the right foot falls in line, and then we've pivoted and planted the left foot there. The whole foot's planted, so we've got the body stacked. Take the left fingers up away from the earth to that left hip, look down towards that right thumb. See if you can bring everything in line here. Really spread the fingers. Now from here, if you're really unstable, the right foot can slide out behind you, form almost like a kickstand. Good, but keep some pressure in that. Good, keep breathing deeply here. Now from here, you can release the left hand and extend the fingers up towards the ceiling. And our gaze can change, maybe out to the side, or maybe you can rotate and gaze right up towards that left thumb. Breathe here. How about turn that left palm forward over the head and start to reach. So we don't want to bring the arm right down to the head. We want to imagine that angle right from that left pinky toe edge of the foot up to where the ceiling and the wall meet. So like a ramp. Good. And push into that right hand. Maybe you can roll that left shoulder back. Can you look up towards the ceiling? Good, take one more nice deep breath in here. Exhale, look down to the right thumb, and as you inhale, lift the left arm up, and then exhale, lower the left hand down, lower the left knee down, bring yourself into a proper table. So separate your hands, knees under hips, and we're gonna do one cow, one cat. Inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale to that neutral position, and we start to set it up. So left hand can come in, under shoulder, in line with knee, and left foot. So we'll pivot and plant that right foot. We'll start here, starting to stack the right side of the body. Maybe the right fingers can leave the earth and come up onto the right hip. You can look down to the left thumb here. So again, same thing if the balance is a little bit off, the left foot can come out behind you as we grow strength and flexibility and understanding of our bodies in these postures. Good, keep breathing. Good, so from here, you can release the right fingers up to the ceiling. We prepare to transition our gaze, or try to. There's no need to, if looking at the thumb is what keeps you in place, keep looking at the thumb. If you can rotate out to the side, or even gaze up towards the right thumb, go ahead. Turn the right palm forward, and again, start to reach that right hand forward over the head. Don't bring the arm down to the head. We want that angle. Keep lifting out of that left wrist, gripping with the palm and fingers. And breathe. And you can even look in front of that right arm towards the ceiling as the shoulder and chest roll back. 
Good. Take one more nice deep breath in and really reach and extend. Exhale, look down to the left thumb. Inhale, right fingers up. And exhale, lower the right hand. Separate the left hand, shoulder distance apart, right knee comes down. Good, we'll inhale, when you're ready, come into cow. Exhale into cat, bring the big toes together, let the hips fall back, take child's pose. Good. Now we're going to bring the hands to either side of the head. Nice and slowly, we're going to inhale, sit up, shift your thighs together, bring your hands up onto your thighs, shoulders over hips here in Vadrasan. Breathe. So we just brought the head up away from the earth. It was below the heart. So that was an inversion. So we just want to make sure that the circulatory system starts to keep up and catch up. Good, from here you can open your eyes, release one of your hips over and bring the legs around to extend in front of you. So at this point, if you require a little lift under the hips, you can add that here. We're gonna move into a forward fold uh, series here and we're going to start with the Janashir Shasan. So we're gonna bend the left knee. So we keep the right leg extended out. We're gonna bend the left knee and bring that heel in as close as we can. Good, and then we're gonna let the left knee fall out to the side. Bring the left foot into that inner thigh. Try to keep the right toes up and try to let this leg relax down as best as you can. You might be tight in here, so that's what we're trying to work with. Good, open space here and compression and length here on the right. So bring your fingertips to the earth on either side of that right leg or up onto the thigh. We're gonna inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale completely. Now releasing both of the arms on the in-breath, let's reach them up right up alongside the head. And as we exhale, start to reach forward as far as you can and then release the hands down. So you might be able to grab the foot without overreaching, okay, that's not the point. It might be the ankle, the low leg, or the calf. So take a gentle grip so the shoulders can be in the proper position, drawn back. We're looking at the big toe, imagining there's a string between it and the heart, and it's getting a little bit shorter. Good, take one more nice deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, fold to that furthest place, and before we round out our back, we're gonna pause and let the chin bow towards the chest, so the top of the head now. That hook is being pulled forward as well. Breathe deeply. So we've got some compression on the right side, low abdomen, and as it becomes closer to the thigh, or even with the fold with the breath, even if they don't come together, it's still happening. And we've got that nice open left side. Let's take one more nice deep breath in, fill, lengthen, extend, flex the foot, exhale, draw yourself forward and fold as far as you can, and then inhale, look forward. As you exhale, reach those arms forward. Good, inhale, sit up nice and tall, turn the palms out and circle the arms down. Let's go ahead and lift that left knee up. Go ahead and extend that left leg out, give it a gentle shake. Good, if you've slid or moved in any way, you need to reposition yourself. So we'll start with both the legs straight, and then we draw that right heel back, right into that ischial tuberosity. Good, knee is bent as far as you can, and we let it fall out, nothing else is moved. Bring that right sole of the foot into the inner left leg. Keep the left foot flexed, sit up nice and tall, comfortably. Fingertips on the earth. Good, inhale, lift and extend, fill up. Exhale completely, now prepare to inhale, send the arms forward, lift them up, and exhale, we're gonna reach, 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 and release fingers to toes, ankles, low leg, or calf. Good, take a grip there. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, pull the heart forward. Exhale, can you lean in a little bit further before that spine rounds out? Bow the chin. Good, breathe here. Again, the hook on the top of the head being pulled forward. 
using a little bit of the upper body strength to drag the heart center towards the toe as it's flexed. Really feel that opening on the back of the left leg. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold just a little bit further. Good, now inhale, look forward. Exhale, nice and strong, reach forward. Inhale, sit up, turn those palms out. Exhale, circle the hands right down to the earth. Good, we're gonna lift that right knee up. Go ahead and extend that right leg out. Give it a gentle shake, maybe something, nothing too crazy. Good, so last one is our Pashamotanasana, our seated forward fold. Good, so both the legs come in. We're flexing both the feet. Good, we're gonna sit up nice and tall here. Good, lift through the heart center, lift through the crown, draw your shoulders gently back. Hands can plant next to the hips if you wanna use a little bit of that grip and effort with the palms. Here, shoulders, staff pose. Good, now inhale, sweep the arms forward and bring them right up alongside the head. Three breaths. We're gonna exhale, lean the heart towards the toes and reach, good, and then inhale, sit up, nice and high. And then exhale, lean forward at the hips, reach, 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 and then inhale, sit up. Now this time, we're gonna exhale, reach really far and then really release to the uh, toes, ankles, low leg, or calf. Take that gentle grip. We still wanna draw those shoulders back to expose the heart. Inhale, drag it towards the toes, flex those feet. Exhale, pull yourself to that furthest plate. Don't let yourself slump. Be active and allow the chin to come towards the chest. Breathe. Pashimottanasana, the tense stretch to the west, which is the back side of the body. Good. Did those nice three stretches to the front side of the body. Now three to the back. Take one more nice deep breath in. Fill, lengthen, extend. Exhale, fold to your furthest place. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, reach forward nice and strong. Inhale, sit up, look up, turn the palms out. Exhale, circle the arms all the way down. Well done. So if you're on a lift, we're gonna take that out. Set it off to the side. Good. And we're gonna bend the knees, both of them this time. Bring them back to us. We're gonna wrap our forearms around the knees. Maybe you can get them around the shins a little bit there. Squeeze those legs together. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Bow the chin towards the chest. Breathe into this little compact position. Good, now inhale, lift the chin, opening the eyes, preparing for Navasan. We're gonna take the hands in between the hamstrings and the calf muscles. Legs are still together, nice deep V in the body. Or you can tip back and find that resting spot on the glute. And from here, flexing both the feet. We're gonna inhale, lift the toes up to eye level. Unless you're working with more straightened legs than I. Good, lift that heart center. Good, shoulders are drawing back still, nice and proud. You've got that grip. Now, can you release that grip and maybe extend your arms right alongside those lower legs? If you need that grip, you can still maintain it. Straighten those legs a little bit more. Lift that heart center to match just a little bit more. Good, take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower your feet and bring your palms down behind you, about a foot or so. So the option here is fingers towards you or fingers away. Good, gaze down towards the navel. We're gonna take it into our reverse table. You'll feel that through the hip flexors, low abdomen. Now looking forward down the body or up towards the ceiling. Or maybe you have it within your ability to extend and allow the head to drift back. So we're gonna do this posture again in a few moments. So maybe you can investigate by 
putting the fingertips in the opposite direction. So take one more nice deep breath in, up, up, up. Exhale, look forward and then slowly lower the hips. Good, let's lift the feet and then either taking the grip or taking the extended arms forward. Navasan, lift the heart, gentle squeeze between the blades, a little smile on the face. Good, again, take one more nice deep breath in. Exhale, lower those feet, separate them, bring the palms behind you, shoulder distance apart. And again, I'm gonna switch to fingers pointing away, look down, inhale, lift your hips up. Maybe the head extends back. Remember, no pain, breathe. Good, inhale, lift the hips, lift the heart, extend the crown. As you exhale, look forward and slowly lower the hips down. We're gonna lower one elbow at a time, lowering down onto the back. Go ahead and draw those knees up towards the chest, reach up for them, and just take a nice comfortable rock from side to side. Turn to center. So let's keep those feet flexed. Good. Make sure there's nothing around you as we're starting to move into a little movement, including a twist. So you need some space to either side of you. Good. So bring your arms down alongside you like railings. So we're going to plant the feet down, separate the feet, roll your shoulders back, tuck your chin in towards your throat, and tuck the tail. Pushing into the feet, we're gonna inhale, lift the hips up. We're gonna start here and bridge. I know I said twist, we'll get to that in a moment. Good, so push into those feet. Don't let the knees fall apart. So if we root heavily into those big toe mounds, this will help engage the musculature. Imagine you're holding a small block or object in between those knees and pushing the frontal hip bones up towards the ceiling. Use those arms there, press down. Take one more nice deep breath in, lift those hips up a little bit higher. As you exhale, lower the hips down, slide your arms out to a T. And now inhale, draw your knees into your chest, flex your feet. Good, now we prepare. Inhale deeply and exhale, lower the legs towards the right, look to the left, but don't let the legs come down, we're just hovering here. Take a few breaths. So right hand's really heavy. Left shoulder rolls back. Good, now inhale, bring those knees back up. And as you exhale, let the legs go to the left. Again, squeezing them together, hovering them, actively pressing into that left hand, supporting you there. Roll the right shoulder and chest back, breathe. Good, inhale deeply, exhale completely, preparing to move a little. Let's inhale, bring the knees up. As you exhale, lower your feet, separate them, hip bone distance, bring the arms down along like railings. Inhale here, lift your hips up, breathe, bridge. Good, inhale, exhale, lower your hips, slide your arms out to a T. Inhale, bring the knees to the chest. Exhale, lower your legs to the right, look left. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, lower the legs to the left, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the feet, separate them, arms like railings. Inhale, lift your hips, reach your arms back. Breathe. Good, inhale, lift those hips. Exhale, lower the hips, arms down to the sides. Inhale, knees to chest, arms out to a T. Exhale, legs right, look left. Inhale, bring your knees and chin to center. Exhale, legs left, look right. 
inhale center exhale lower the feet arms along the sides inhale lift the hips reach the arms back exhale lower the arms hips down inhale knees to chest arms to a T exhale legs right look left inhale center exhale legs left look right inhale center one more time exhale arms to side feet to earth inhale lift the hips extend the arms back fill up hips lift exhale hips down arms to the sides inhale knees to chest arms to a T exhale legs right look left inhale center exhale legs left look right inhale center exhale lower the feet arms to the sides inhale lift the hips up pause good so we can walk those hands a little closer under the body maybe thumbs touch maybe you're pressing palms and that's right where you are maybe you can interlace the fingers maybe you can walk up one at a time a little higher on those shoulders don't let those knees fall out keep rooting heavily push the hips towards the sky lift the navel press into the arms lift the ribs the heart move it towards the chin Take one more nice deep breath in, come up a little higher, onto the toes, separate the hands out to a T, exhale, lower the hips down. Draw the knees into the chest, exhale, lower the legs all the way to the right, look to the left, close the eyes, breathe deeply. Turn the palms down. On your inhale, engaging through the legs, knees and chin to center. As you exhale, legs left, look right. Settle the legs to the earth. Turn the palms up. Breathe. Good. Take one more nice deep breath in. Fill yourself up. Exhale completely. Turn the palms down. Engage through the legs. Inhale. Bring the knees and the feet, the chin up to center. Go ahead and reach up for the fronts of those knees or shins and relax those legs gently apart and rock from side to side. With the knees apart, let the knees fall forward as you support them. Feel that movement into the buttocks that massage from side to side. And slowly draw the knees up towards the chest, still wide, that massage moves up into the low back, spine, kidneys. And I'll take a few moments to find that right place for you. Maybe it's a combination, moving through that figure eight from glutes to low back. What feels good to your spine, your hips, your back. Just a couple more moments here. Good. Now return to the center. Bring the legs together. Relax your arms down to the earth beside you. You can bring the edges of the forearms or wrists just under the hips and extend the feet up towards the ceiling, flexing them. So at this point, we're going to prepare to move into an inversion through several options. So if it's legs up for you and that's good, you can stay and breathe. If you want legs up the wall, you have that space within your home, your place. You can use that now as well. If you'd like to come into a full shoulder stand and can do so safely, 
feel free. You can do that from here, or if you'd like to also joining me, moving in the plow. So pushing into the palms, sending the feet back as the hips lift. So I'm a little tight today. So my legs are straight, but my toes won't come down. I'm gonna bend the elbows and support my hips with my hands. Separating my feet, separating your feet if your legs are tight will assist relaxing the buttocks, hips. Breathe deeply. Good, if you've separated the feet and you're gonna move forward, bring the legs back together. And please don't turn the head during this demonstration. If you'd like to watch and then replay it as you can go into it, uh, going into it yourself, please do so. Practice safely. From here, with the support at the low back, we can lift the feet up towards the ceiling. Maybe you're in a pike position, kind of a half shoulder stand. Or maybe you're able to bring those legs right up and move yourself gently into a stable position. Full shoulder stand. Breathe deeply. So we'll use this to lead us into our relaxation series, which will allow us to be completely refreshed, top to bottom, as we bring any stagnant, stale material from the lower body up to be cycled and renewed into the upper body. As we lie and relax, it will be pumped around the entire body with ease by your healthy, happy heart. Now is gaining a little bit of extra push. It's becoming engorged with the extra blood, the pressure. It's still pumping at a higher volume. We'll use that to our advantage in a moment. Take a really nice deep breath in, and if you're up in the shoulder stand, slowly begin to lower those feet down behind you, joining me in plow. If you have your hands on the hips, they can remain there as support. If you have the ability to bring the palms down safely, you can do so. We're gonna keep those legs as straight as possible, feet are flexed, try to keep them as close to your face as possible, and start to lower one vertebrae at a time, checking in. All the muscles engaged to perform this action, heavy through the hands. Core slowly releasing. So it's engaged, but we're just letting a little bit of length at a time come into those fibers. As the tail touches down, flex those feet, push the heels to the sky, and then slowly continue to release those legs out all the way. Wonderful. So if your legs up the wall or anywhere else in the room, slowly make your way over to your yoga mat. Good, lie on your back. Take your feet out to the corners of your mat and turn your palms up. If you need any clothing or anything warm, you can go ahead and put that on now. Soften the eyes closed. We're gonna flex the right foot and lift the right foot one inch off the ground. Spread the toes and then squeeze the toes. Engage the whole foot, shin, ankle, calf, knee, quad, hamstring, glute, hip. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze, and then release it. Good, so only lift it an inch so we can drop it to the earth without hurting ourselves. Flex the left foot, lift it one inch, Engage to the foot, ankle, shin, calf, knee, quad, hamstring, hip, glute, squeeze, squeeze, and release. Good, press into both of your feet and see if you can lift your hips and your buttocks up away from the earth. Make a bridge with the body. Start to squeeze through the buttocks. Squeeze, 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 and release. A little shift from side to side, and then relax. Good, now the spine. We're going to push into the elbows, the back of the head. See if you can lift your entire spine up. Push your heart up towards the ceiling. Arch your back. Take a nice deep breath in, arch, arch, arch. Exhale, relax the spine down. So we're gonna bring the thumbs into the palms and wrap the four fingers lightly around them. And from here, we're just gonna straighten the arms and then lift them an inch off the ground. Listen very carefully. Start to squeeze the fists, wrists, forearms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, 
Squeeze the arms, squeeze the arms, squeeze the arms. Now open the hands wide, spread the fingers and the palms apart. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears. Really squeeze them there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now reach towards the top of your mat with the fingers. Reach, 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 and then relax the arms. Good, lift up the head a little, tuck in your chin, and then relax back on the occipital bone. We're gonna start with the final frontier of the face. We're gonna bring all the features of your face right to the tip of your nose. So start to scrunch up the forehead, and the chin, and the mouth, and the brow, and the eyes, and the, and the lips. We start squeezing towards the tip of the nose, squeeze the face, squeeze the face, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take a nice deep breath in. Open the eyes, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, and let out the breath. <sighs> now close the eyes. Bring the lips together, but allow the teeth to remain apart. The tip of your tongue can rest on the roof of the mouth just behind the two front upper teeth. Relax the tongue in the back of the mouth. Relax the facial features, scalp, neck, ears, relaxing the shoulders, arms, hands, relaxing the chest, upper back, relaxing the abdomen, the low back, relaxing the hips, the buttocks, the pelvis, relaxing the thighs, the knees, calves, ankles, feet, toes, the entire body is completely relaxed. Take these moments, let all the benefits of your practice today just melt into you. Relax.
starting to bring your awareness back now. Come back from wherever you've drifted off to. That distant place or just there above yourself. Start to bring some nice breaths back into the body. Feel the rise and fall. And start to reconnect with your body, wiggling the fingers and the toes. And take that movement up into the wrists and the ankles. And up into the neck as you allow the head to gently rock from side to side. And then shift those circles to the opposite direction with the hands and the feet. Bring the head to center, relax the limbs, slide the legs together and circle the arms back. That one big aligning stretch. So point the toes, reach the fingers. Take a nice deep breath in, fill yourself up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, relax your arms down to your sides. Gently draw the knees up into the chest and grip them. A few times, rocking from hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. And then go ahead and roll over to the right side and pause there for just a few more moments in stillness. Relax in this fetal position and let go. And bringing the left hand down to the earth and when you're ready from here, nice and gently with as little movement as possible, press yourself up cross-legged, comfortable position to finalize our practice. Find that seat. Sit up nice and tall. And once you've arrived, bring the hands together. Firm amount of pressure, slide the thumbs into the sternum. Let the four fingers fall away. A little squeeze between the blades. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up and spending this time for you. And send that thank you out to those who will join us sharing this practice and our breath when that time comes. I thank you for allowing me to share these practices with you. I'm truly honored. The divine light that dwells deep and burns bright within me graciously bows to that same light that dwells dirt deep and burns bright within you. Namaste. Leaning forward, planting the palms, sealing this practice. Let's let it go. Thanks everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, it's beautiful and sunny, so I hope you can get outside at some point, get some fresh air. It's a little bit bitter cold today, but that's also good for us. So uh, do the best you can. And again, uh, we appreciate you tuning in and all the wonderful comments that are coming in and uh, they're helping us push forward and uh, continue to bring, us, bring you some new content. So keep those coming in and keep the comments flowing. Uh, make sure you're sharing with all your friends. We greatly appreciate that. Our membership, our subscriptionship, subscribership is growing on YouTube. So tune into the YouTube channel, like it, uh, subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.